This conference will now be recorded. Tawfiq Ta'id Himmat Yari Tawfiq Ta'id Himmat Yari Tawfiq Ta'id Himmat Yari Tawfiq Ta'id Himmat Yari Tawfiq Ta'id Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari, Tawfiq ta'id, Himmat yari. Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari Tawfiq ta'id himmat yari. Allahumma lak sujudhi wa ta'ati. Shukran lillahi wa alhamdulillah. Shukran lillahi wa alhamdulillah. Ya Ali Madad Aziz sir. Ya Ali Madad. Ya Ali Madad. Ya Ali Madad. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Tawfiq, Tahid, Himmat wa Yari, Ameen, Ya Mawla. Tamam Satyon ko Ya Ali Madad. And once again, welcome to our morning session on such a great, beautiful morning. The sun is shining. And Imam is very happy with us for this Qurbani of our time and our knowledge. Inshallah, we will continue to learn and come closer and closer to the Noor of Imam with more and better understanding we will be able to follow Imam and his Farman and inshallah Imam will be happy with us and we will be happy with him on this endeavor. As you can see the subject on our screen I would like to tell you this is not my favorite subject, but in previous week or two, we had received so many inquiries, question, comments that this Garib and Nachis had no choice but 
to cover this topic. So I would request, please pray for me. Please pray that all of us for the last time understand this topic and hopefully we never have to talk about it or we don't have to worry about it, inshallah. So let's raise our hand in Imam Suzur, the Yamola, give us Tawfiq, Tahid, Himmat wa Yari. Yamola, guide us. Guide us, help us. Yamola, help us understand our Batini Tariqa. Yamola, let us remove our focus, our energy, our intellect away from the things which are not important. Ya Mola, keep us on Sirat al and move us forward, not backward. Move us forward. So we may go from Hakikat to Marifat. Ya Mulai Mirwan, keep your blessed hand on our shoulder so we may focus on the ilm and the talimat of the Imam of the time. And Ya Mula, please. Keep your blessed, merciful Khana Vadan on us Garib so we can be blessed by your Noor, your happiness, your pleasure. Ya Mulai Merban, we are thankful for all the guidance that you have given us over the last 65 years and over the last 1400 years through your nur e imamat ameen ya rabbal alamin bismillahir rahmanir rahim the subject in the form of question muharram and the 10 days of muharram and the 40 days of Muharram, how do we understand and act in this month? Like I said, and I'm being honest with everyone here, that this is not a subject that we should have after hundreds and hundreds of years of Imam's guidance to the Jamaat. But because there is a question, there is a concern, then it is our task, duty to the Jamaat to answer. To answer. And that is exactly what we will try today. The hope is. امید یہ ہے کہ یہ سوالات جو بہت پہلے ہمیں سمجھ جانے چاہیے تھے will not come again. Let's go and read some of the فرمان about محرم. And then we will try to understand and we will see if we can remove the doubts worries, questions out of our heart. We need to keep our ears, our heart and our mind clear of whispers, of ill concept. We should not be listening to things which gives us doubts about our tariqa, about our imam 
and any of the beliefs iman we have in our heart just like we do not play in dirt when we find something dirty we stay away from it ill concept will make you sick spiritually and intellectually the whispers the bad knowledge we need to stay away from so we do not get spiritually sick. Please recite the holy salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Mullah says, you are reading narrative in 10 days of Muharram. Read what is imparted in the present Farman. You see, it's not me saying this. This is a clear Farman. That we should be focused on the Farameen of the Imam. Not on something that others are teaching you and you are so focused on it that you have doubts in your heart now about our tariqa and about the imam it has damaged your iman because we did not follow this forman by which your souls may be random then read this ginans redeemed sorry my bad with which your soul may be redeemed then read the Ginans. You are reading the narratives of Hazrat Imam Hussein, which is not authentic on the whole. It contains many fabrication of mullahs of the others. The battle of Karbala was fought. We are not denying the history in which Shamir martyred Imam Hussein. True, that's fact. But those stories are fake, indicating that they insulted el -Abed. They martyred Imam Hussein and arrested the members of el -Abed, but they had not disgraced them. Why are you, Imam is directly talking to us now, why are you sitting in front row wearing black clothes? It is not good for you to come to Jamaat Khana in this black attires for which I am not happy at all. So. Let's take five minutes to understand the Farman. Very simple Farman. Very simple Farman. There is a history and there are facts. Then there are fabrication. People have inserted their own thoughts and emotion into the history. And they pick draw a huge gray picture in front of you how imam hussein was martyred how close to 16 17 member of his family of our imam's family the children the brother the brother-in-law the sons of Imam were martyred brutally. And they emotionally blackmail us. That is emotional blackmail. 
when our tarika sits on logic and intellect and what is the foundation asul din what is asul din if we cannot answer that how can we call ourselves the true mu'minin ismailis what is asul din imam never ever dies the nur e imamat people have tried by martyring killing almost 20 imams in our history not one not only imam hussein but 20 of them they have tried to take away blow away destroy the elbeth the nure imamat the nure ali the nur of allah himself but asul din teaches us and tells us that imamat and the nur cannot be blown away cannot be imam Mola Ali, Imam Hussein, Imam Zainal Abdeen, Imam Muhammad Bakir, Imam Jafar Sadiq, on, on, and on, and on, are living, are present. That is Asul Deen. There is always Imam and his Noor present. If Imam and his Noor is present, then why and what is the reason that we will be sad? And I will give you some good logical explanation and the proofs. So those with intellect and logic will understand this quickly and those who do not or choose not to understand the logic then the free will is with them i cannot take it away from them you cannot take it away from them imam does not take away from them Imam does not take your free will. It is your choice. If you choose to stay and not understand the logic and the living Imam, then that is your choice. Quran talks about the way we present ourselves when i say we present ourselves meaning how we make a statement through our clothes so let's take the positive side first on friday on chandra on kushali when we wear nice clothes we wear perfume we celebrate imam's birthday imam day navroz chandrat other khushalis but we also not necessary use our tongue but we display through our attire our clothes we show that we are happy just like that when someone is wearing black clothes they are making a statement that i am sad i'm mourning i am observing the mahoram
Why are we observing Moram? Did your Imam die? Did your Imam die? Were your Imam gone? Or your Imam is living and present? The Noor is right in front of you. What do you have to mourn about? What reason would you have to mourn? That is the question for all of those who had made comments and question and sent queries in the last couple of weeks. That is one question. Do you believe or do you think that they were able to extinguish, blow away Imam's Noor by martyring, killing Imam Hussein. What about Mullah Ali? They also martyred him. What about Imam Khalil Salam? Just recent history, less than 200 years ago. They also martyred him. What about our beloved great Imam of the time? The very day that he passed away, we celebrate Imamat Day. Logic, logic, intellect, think about it. In our tariqa, the fundamental principle of our tariqa is on the ever-living, ever-present imam. If you ask a Hindu, what was the best time in the history for you? They will tell you when the Krishna, when the Ram were present. If you ask a Jew, what was the best time in history for you? They will tell you when Moses was here, when Harun was here. If you ask a Christian, they will say when Jesus was present and Shamoon was here. If you ask a Buddhist, they will say when Buddha was here. If you ask a Muslim, they will say when Muhammad was here. If you ask a Shia, Ishnashari, they will say when Ali and Hussein was here. But if you ask a true Ismaili, what is the best time in history for you? You know how he or she will reply? Every time when Imam is living and present is a happy day for a moment. Is a happy day for Momin. We have nothing to mourn about. Nothing, zero. So let's look at some of this. Ahadith. And we notice, and in, even in our Farman, and I have seen a lot of women, especially, and I appreciate them so much. They wear white clothes to Jamaat Khana. You know why? Because that is the favorite color of Allah, Muhammad, and Imams. All of them love white color. And I truly admire our sisters, our daughters, our mothers, who wear white clothes to Jamaat Khana. The most favorite color of Prophet Muhammad was the white color. And he preached, just like our Imams, 
that white is the favorite color which pleases the Imam because it represents Sadgi, simple city. It represents your humility, your humbleness. It represents your purification, your purity. It represents good. Black represents evil, bad. Now, before somebody asks me a question, we do have a black suits that we wear on occasions, but not as a mourning, not as a sadness. We have a black tie which we wear, but it is not part of mourning or sadness. And we are not making a statement that we are said by wearing black suit or black tie. When we are making a statement by wearing a black cloth, then there is an issue. So what, what do we do when we have mayat in our family, in our jamaat? What do we do? We don't wear black clothes. We wear white clothes. Simplicity, right? Simplicity is the key to the purification of the clean heart. That is what we represent in our tariqa, in our hakiki tariqa. All of the sadness was for those who had lost their Imam forever. Imam Hussein represent the Haq, the truth. Imam Hussein represents the Haq, the truth. Imam Hussein represents the firmness of the Iman. He could have easily saved himself and his family by taking the Baya, the oath, in the hand of Mavia. But he chose the path of the Haq. He represents the bravery. He represents the home of the Imam, the home of the truth. He represents the Nure Ilahi, Nure Ali, that regardless of what happens, even if we have to lose our physical life, we will stay on Sirat al Musakim. That's what he represents. He does not represent sadness. Why would we be sad? when Imam Hussein himself does not represent sadness. Imam Hussein represents Haq, the truth. That is the teaching of our tariqa. And I promise you, I will share some wisdom, some references to prove my point. So I divided this session into two. So there was first session on the Farman. Let's take the second question. Why should we not observe Muharram? Because there was a question was received by our dear smiley brothers and sisters. We love all of them. But that was the very question. Why should we not observe Muharram? And my answer was because the Imams are ever living. Because morning if we believe that we have lost 
the Imam and the Noor. But we believe our foundation sits on ever living Imam. The Imams are ever living. Imam and Imam says in his Farman, Imam Hussein is ever present in all places, also is present now in the living Imam. If you don't believe Hazri Imam have the Nure Ali, Nure Hussein, and Mola Ali and Hussein are living in the present living Imam. If you don't believe that, then you are right. You have a reason to mourn. You have a reason to observe Muharram. So where is your Iman? That is in your hand. You follow your Iman. You do you. जो आपको अच्छा लगता है, जो आपका ईमान है, वो आप करें। ईमान will not come and stop you. I cannot stop you. No one can stop you, but you yourself. Because they were firm, they were really truly hard set on this question: Why should we not observe Moram? That is the question. So let's start on this now. Let's see why should we not follow Abzor Moram? Again, a Farman. A fierce battle was waged against Imam Hussein in the plains of Karbala. He fought alone with thousands of persons, enemies at that time, despite suffering oppression and severe trouble he declared i am the imam even after 1400 years of history of oppression and force and prosecution and martyred and hardship imam are declaring i am the imam so now we have two choices. We believe in Hazri Imam who is saying I am the Imam or we believe in the others who says we have lost the Imam and the Noor. Choice resides with you individually. Imam is saying exactly the same what Imam Hussain says I am the Imam. Mullah Baba says, I am the Imam. He did not hide his Imamat at that time. If the dress, the jama of the Imam is not present, then all would become infidels. In other words, if there was no living Imam, so now it's easy for us to understand why does Ishna Shri Shia observe Muharram because they don't have a living Imam. They don't have a living Imam. But you as an Ismaili have a living present Imam. What reason would you have unless you do not believe in Imam. You do not believe in living Imam. And you think that Imam was murdered, Imam and his Noor is gone, so we have something to mourn. If that is your belief, then there's nothing we can do. But if you believe in the living Imam, then this question is not a right question. Imam says, the authority of Imam Hussein is with me at the present and I myself am 
Imam Hussein. So when Imam is himself Imam Hussein, why should we even observe Muharram? Makes no sense, no logical sense. Are we not listening to Imam Farman? Are we not understanding Imam Farman? What would be the reason for us to observe Muharram if and when we believe in the Imam and Imam is a man, Imams are ever living. Let's come further. There were many different kind of people in the plains of Karbala. And the reason I have taken this reference because there are many different kind of Ismailis today. I'm trying to draw a parallel. Yes, I'm trying to draw a parallel. There are many kinds of people in the time of Karbala. There are many kind of Ismailis today. And some among them admitted Imam Hussein as an Imam. Like today, we believe in Ali as Zaman, Imam as Zaman. Listen, we are not done yet. And then Imam quoted this in the Persian by saying, Imam, Imam, my Mola, my Mola, and then they martyred, killed Imam Hussein, their own Imam. Remember, those who killed Imam Hussein were no other than the Muslim. Christian did not kill them. Yodi did not kill them. Kafirin did not kill Imam Hussein or Mullah Ali or any of the Imam. None of the Imams were killed by Kafirin. Each one of them, the Abdul Muljim in the Kufa, the very Abdul Muljim who had received many citations for praying extraordinary namaz, nawafil, and he was praised for that by the prophets and imams and the elites of the time. He was very high regarded Muslim. Then he killed Mulali. In the masjid. In the masjid. Imam Hussein was martyred by a Muslim and when he was asked by Mavia, what is so hurry? Why did you do it in so much hurry? You know what he said? I did not want to miss my namaz. How sad is that? That you are killing el -Bayat. The son of the Imam, the son of the Bibi Fatima, Khatun al Jannat, the grandson of the Prophet that you loved, Elibeth. And not only him, you killed his entire family. And you call yourself a Muslim that I'm running late for namaz that is the part that we have forgotten and we have lost this is the only reason someone would ask why should we not observe more because you have forgotten the history and you wanted to be on the side of those who killed Imam Hussein. No. 
No. I wanted to be on the side of the haq, of the imam, of the time. My imam and my imam Hussein and your imam and your imam Hussein is present and living today. We have no reason to be observing Muharram. Let's talk about this Farman further. I don't want to say anything from my own. I wanted to present you with the facts from the Farameen. Shamir also worshipped God and said that he was his slave, Banda. Even then, he martyred his own Mola. Shamir claimed that the Imam was a man like him. He thought that Murtaza Ali was the hand of God, but he, the Murtaza Ali, was not there to be feared because he forgot that Imam Hussein is Mola Ali. So he did not fear him. Shamir did not recognize that Imam Hussein himself was Murtaza Ali. So I want to break here. When we insist on observing Muharram in the remembrance of Imam Hussein, you know what we are saying? That I have forgotten the Mullah Hazri Imam, the present living Imam, is Ali, is Hussein. Or we are saying, I don't believe Mola Hazri Imam is Mola Ali and his Imam Hussein. That's exactly our action is saying. Are we saying that? No, I hope not. Do you see what was reason for me and my dislike of this subject? Because it will bring lot of truth, fact in us. And that is not our purpose to hurt anyone. It's not our purpose to show a mirror to disbelievers. That is not our purpose. And that was my reason of disliking this subject. But I could not sit silent when I received queries, not one, not dozen, but dozen on the top of dozens. That showed that we have been misguided we have been misunderstood. We have forgotten our history and we have forgotten the asul -e deen the fundamental principle of our tariqah, the believing in the Ali as Zaman, in the present Imam, the living Imam. Just like Shamir did not recognize that Imam Hussein himself was Ali, he forgot for the sake of worldly temptation and benefit. We wanted to fit in. We wanted to fit in. We forgot. In that fitting in with others, we forgot that Ali is living and present in the Imam Zaman. Because we wanted to fit in. Mullah Imam Hussein could have fit in with Mavia. He did not choose to fit in. He did not choose to fit in. He chose the side of Haq, the truth. If you wanted to follow Imam Hussein, follow his example of the truth, of the Haq. He did not follow the Theory of fit in. No, follow the truth. That's what he did. If you want to follow, observe Imam Hussain, 
Follow his example. Give Qurbani for the Haq, for the truth. Even today, those Hakiki believers, see, even today, there are Ismailis believers like him, who does not believe that Hazar Imam is nur -e ali nur -e Hussain, nur -e imam That's why they are trying to fit in. Shamir was not so as Namrud, who claimed for his divinity, he used to say that he was a slave of God. So now the comparison of Namrud, who tried to martyr Prophet Musa, Hazrat Musa ko marne ki koshish ki thi, by claiming he was Allah. Shamir was not like that. Shamir was like you and me. He believed in Imam. But he forgot that Imam Hussein was Mola Ali. Just like today, some of us have forgotten that Hazri Imam is Mola Ali, Imam Hussein, Imam Zainal Abdin, Imam Muhammad Bakr. Imam is the living present Imam. When we forget, our example will be the example of Shamir. Nozvila Khudana Khasa. I hope we are not on his example. We should be in the example of true Mumineen who gave their life for the Imam in the time of Karbala. They gave their life for the truth. They could have easily fit in. They could easily have said, I'm with Mavia. They could have fit in. But they do not choose to fit in. They chose the side of Haq, of the Imam. Be careful, my brother and sister. Be careful in your action, in your Iman. Do not lose your Imam for the sake of fitting in. Be careful. Shamir, even though when he martyred Imam Hussein, not only this, he also was much in hurry to kill Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein said, why you are in much hurry? Shamir replied, it is now the time for the namaz. So that I may kill you and quickly join the namaz to offer my namaz. You see? I'm going to give you last example to show what Imam wants from you. Current Imam. I have the dates and I have the proof. If we were supposed to be observing Muharram, but the Imam Hussein was in the forefather, in the family of the El Bayt from Hazri Imam, right? Imam Hussein Mola Ali was the forefather of Hazri Imam. Then he should be observing Muharram. That was his family. It's like you saying that somebody in my family have died and you are observing his death. When somebody in my family had died, you are observing the mourn of my family member's death. Look what Mola Bapa have done. Let me show you. Let me try to open our eyes. And all of us remember this. And I have written the dates for your convenience. On October 14th, Chandrat, you can go and look it up. Look it up. Okay, I, I will encourage you to look it up so you may believe. 
the first morum, the Chandrat in 2014. 2014, October 14th, first day of Muharram, Chandrat. Imam sends a talika to the Jamaat. And Imam says, Today, your Imam and the family are happy. Are happy. It is a joyous occasion that my son, Prince Rahim, and Princess Salvia, his wife, are pregnant and they will inshallah soon will be giving a birth to a Nurani family child. Your Imam is happy and I would like to join me in this happiness. And guess what? This was six months, six months before the fact, before the fact, because the first son, the Irfan, was not born until April 11, 2015. October 14, he sends the Talika, the first day of Moram. November, December, January, February, March, April. Six months. Imam could have waited for 40 days. Imam could have waited for two months. Imam could have waited for three months, four months to give us this happy talika of the birth of the child of Prince Rahim. But look at the wisdom. On the first day of Muharram, he sends a talika. Six months ahead of time. Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever in your life have heard Imam, even when his own Durrani family children, Princess Zara, Prince Rahim, Prince Hussain, Prince Ali were being born, that he sent the talika six months ahead. Have you ever heard of that? Never. Never. But on this first of Muharram, he sends the talika. What was the message in that talika, you know? That your Imam is happy, he is celebrating the Nurani family, Nuran Allah Nur, the Nur in the Imam family is alive and well. I am happy, I am celebrating, I want my Jamaat to celebrate with me. And what did Jamaat do? What did you and me as a Jamaat do? Tell me. And I'm asking a very serious question here. Ask yourself, reflect. Did you celebrate? Did you become one with the Imam's happiness? Or did you observe the Moram? What did you do? I will leave you with that question. When Imam asks you as a Farman, as a Talika, that your Imam is happy, celebrate with me. Celebrate with your Imam. Did you celebrate on the Mohram? Self reflection. Self reflection. May I ask for forgiveness? Humbly. I ask for your forgiveness. If this has touched too close to your Iman, to your heart, if this has hurt you in any way, 
if you still believe in the observing Muharram and this part has hurt you because of that, then I offer my sincere apology. But I did not choose this subject. This is not my subject of liking, but I could not say not nothing because not one but dozen upon dozen questions and comments were received during last two weeks. Thank you everyone. Let's open the mic. Let's be honest with each other. What question do you have now? Tell me. Let's see if we can talk about it. G. That's the one last one, sir. Uh, friends, please share your questions in the chat. Okay, sir, we have uh, first question. Would you advise we wear no black clothes to Jamaat Khana period? That is the Farman of the Imam. That is the Farman of the Imam. I would say, don't do anything which is against the Imam's Farman. Imam does not like black clothes. If he doesn't like, then we have no reason to wear black clothes to the Jamaat Khana. And that is a Farman, right? And we're supposed to follow Imam's Farman. You are correct in understanding that. G. Any other uh, comments, so, question? Uh, so friends are asking, then why do they not do weddings in Muharram? That's a good question for Tariqa board, not for me. That is a very good question to ask Mukhi Sahib, Kamri Sahib, Tariqa board, council, because if you ask me, I would have no problem. None, zero. Because my Imam is living. That's a good question for you to ask. G. Uh, Sir Fenn's asking, uh, it's black clothes uh, on Muharram or any time? Let's look at Imam Furman once again. Maybe we, d we did not read the Furman correctly let me go to this all right so this is the farman in one of the uh didar hall when malapa was in the didar hall these are the words of the imam why are you sitting in front wearing black clothes it is not good for you to come to Jamaat Khana in this black attire for which I am not happy at all. You see the Farman, right? Now, let's look at the Hadith. And Imam's Farman, that Imam and the Prophet, and look at the Quran, they like clean white clothes, attire. You, you have all this in right in front of you, the Farman, the Quran reference, and the Hadith. G. Uh, so friends asking the Imam himself wears black. Uh, every, uh, everything in Islam is based on niyat. If you are not wearing it as a sign of mourning, does it really matter? That's what I said. We do wear black suit, black tie. We do wear those, right? But where and when do we wear those? 
and wearing black suit was because we are mourning a death or because we are in the black suit black tie party somewhere and that party require the attire of the day is black suit and black tie and they are celebrating something like a wedding or like some occasion and they are wearing black suit and black tie right so l listen to the firman imam does not like you to wear black cloth in jamaat khana don't wear the black cloth to say that i'm mourning a death don't make a statement with your cloth black cloth instead make a statement with your white cloth the statement of purification simplicity liking of the imam that i'm wearing a white cloth because my mola likes it g Uh, sir, we don't have the question in the chat. Uh, friends, uh, I'm going to unlock the mic. So if you have any question, uh, please uh, ask. There are two questions that I see. And if you give me permission, let me read those first. Okay, so Our Central you, Asian you Jamaati so members. Can you mute? Just, just come into that. With your, you have to buy the baseball, right? Yeah. yeah. So take a picture. Can you mute, please? Over here, it doesn't matter if they want to be. Just mute everyone. Maybe if you can just play this again, because this will look new when you're buying it, right? Uh, sir, you can unmute your device now. I got it. Thank you. You can hear me, right, Kamran sir? G sir. Okay. So two questions here in the chat. Our Central Asian Jamaati members wear black during Mayat. Ladies will cover with white pacheri. Now, I would ask the same question to them, because remember, we do not we do not control someone's free will. That is against the Imam's farman. That's all I can tell you. That is against Imam's Farman. Then if they choose to wear black, then that is up to them. If they are trying to fit in, that is up to them. But that is not the tradition, not the Farman of Ismaili Tariqa. White is called for. You should wear white as much and whenever possibly any other color but the black all right next question is bora have imam still they observe mohram they have a imam i did not know that maybe you can teach me and enlighten me that bora has imam bora doesn't have a imam only smiley tarika only only one tariqa in Islam has a living Imam, and that is Ismaili tariqa. So maybe you want to check the facts. Any now you can go ahead and unmute and ask question. I wanted to take those question because I thought those were serious question that needed to be answered. Go ahead, please. Jesus. Yali, that's your question. Yali, Samir, why did you say that? Why did you say that? Samir said that you said that you said that you said that you said Okay, so for that you need to read history, right? 
मुझे ध्यान में नहीं है इसलिए मैं पूछ रहा हूँ कि उसने क्यों सही क्यों किया क्योंकि इमाम हुसैन ने रिफ्यूज किया माविया के हाथ पर बेहत करने से ओके थैंक यू और दूसरा ये जो काले कपड़े की बात होती है तो बोलते कि पहले के जमाने में लोगों का ईमान वो था कि कपड़े देख के ईमान खराब हो जावे या तो ठीक हो जावे मगर अभी तो कोई ऐसा नहीं है इमाम का फरमान या इमाम बोलते कि मीन्स के काले कपड़े नहीं पहनने का ओके फाइन विथ मी That is absolutely fine with me. Or sometimes, in front of me, in Jamaat Khan, I also see. Those colored khamis pen, they come. White pen, pen, they come. My brother, my brother, hold on, my brother. We are not judging anyone. Everyone have their free will. We are not judging anyone. We are just showing the facts from the Imam's Farman. Whoever wish to follow may follow. Whoever wish not to follow, that is perfectly fine. We are not judging anyone, and we are absolutely okay with it. So let's not judge anyone. Ne, samne se bolte ki abhi ka imam ka firman nahi hai ki kalle kapre nahi. Mera bhai, please. Mera bhai, please. Let's not go into that, because okay. that is not our matter, not this subject, not our concern. Someone wearing black shirt will not reflect on you and me. So why are we wasting our time on that? Okay. Sorry. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, I have a question for you. Mohram, ko leke aur. आपके कैसे क्योंकि जो बेसिकली हिस्ट्री थी वो तो यही बोलती है की इनकी जो है वो जिंदगी भर की खिदमत के तौर पर हमने ये कबूल किया तो नॉट ट्रू आप आप उसको पढ़ें सही तरह से तमाम मजालिस की रीसेंट हिस्ट्री है आपको पता है लाइफ की मजलस सुल्तान मोहम्मद शाह सलवात गिवन टू दो मोमिन टू प्रेजेंट देर लाइफ सर्विस खिदमत टू द इमाम ऑफ द टाइम इज नॉट अर ओल्ड हिस्ट्री इज वेरी रिसेंट हिस्ट्री people do make up things just to feel good just to make them feel good and there is lot of false narratives but that is not true that's why i simply would say that is not true ji yani madad yani madad oh just question so when you're talking in terms of black clothes is it just more like not for a funeral because i mean a person can have black outfits that are like you know pretty that they want to wear which are decorative yeah. and shiny and you know we just covered that right if you are Sorry, not I... making a statement yeah Okay. Yes, <laughs> just, just making sure because I was a little bit confused because I was like isn't it always like hakikat over you know like the tariqat over the You know, so I was like, isn't it more like meaning-wise versus like you know, the actual what you're doing? But yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Gee, someone else was trying to ask something. Go ahead. Yeah, this is why there is a question from last week's um, um, lesson that we. Yeah. Not the one who is wearing the clothes of the wedding. What is what is the significance of kiali and kum? I'm sorry, Shirazba. Let's ask that question later. Let's focus on the subject. So, someone else had a question about Mohoram. What was that? Was somebody else was trying to ask something? Uh, Ji, Nargis Sahiba, uh, you were asking something. Nargis. 
کہنا چاہ رہی تھی کہ کیا ہزمام کا کوئی فرمان ہے اس پریزنٹ جامے کا کالے کپڑے پہننے یا نہ پہننے کے بارے میں آپ کی نالج میں ہے یہ بات سو آر یو سینگ لیمی ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ کوشچن اف مولا بابا ڈز ناٹ ہیو اے فرمان آن بلیک کلوتھ دین دی پریویس فرمان از نو گڈ ناٹ ویلڈ از دیٹ شو کوشچن Nargis, is that your question? Can you hear me? Is that your question? Okay, it looks like we lost her. Gee, so next question. So she is there. Uh, Nargis Saiba, you can unmute your device. Karein. سر مجھے بھی ایک سوال پوچھنا ہے سلیم کو جی پوچھ لو سر سر میرا ایک تو کامنٹ ہے ایک میرا کامنٹ ہے یہ سمیر نہیں ہے شیمر ہے میرے خیال میں اگر میں غلط نہ ہوں کہ شیمر ہے ٹھیک ہے کیونکہ کئی مرتبہ میں نے دیکھا کہ شمیر دکھا جا رہا ہے لوگ بھی کہہ رہے ہیں شمیر تو شمیر نہیں ہے شیمر ہے یہ دوسرا یہ ہے کاسم بھائی بھی ہوتا سلیم بھائی اس کا نام کاسم بھائی بھی ہوتا تو کوئی فرق نہیں پڑتا کوئی فرق نہیں پڑتا نہیں نہیں کوئی فرق نہیں پڑتا لیکن میں ہسٹوریکلی بات کر رہا ہوں کہ ہسٹوری میں جو ان کا نام جو ہے وہ شیمر بتایا گیا بھائی چاہے وہ ابن عبد الرحمن ابن ملجم کی نہ ہو اس سے کوئی فرق نہیں پڑتا ٹھیک ہے دوسرا سوال یہ ہے کہ امام سلطان شاہ کے فرمان ہے کہ امام کہتے ہیں کہ جب جماعت خانے آؤ تو کپڑے سادے صاف اور پاک پہن کے آؤ کوئی بھی ایپ نہ ہونا چاہیے اور کسی کی برائی نہ کرو جماعت خانے میں آ کے یہ ایک امام سلطان شاہ کا تیسرا فرمان بھی ہے ریزن یہ تھا بیکاز اف یو آر ویئرنگ کلوز وچ آر ناٹ سمپل کلوز دین یور انٹائر فوکس از آن یور کلوز and showing off your clothes. Your mm. attention was never to come to Jamaat Khanna for the purpose of Ibadat. Your purpose of coming to Jamaat Khanna was to show off your expensive clothes. So Imam <coughs> has said, wear simple clothes. And how, when do you wear simple clothes? What is a simple clothes? Normally, white clothes are considered to be simple. or any other color which are not dark and and uh, reshmi barawa glorious because that draw attention toward the clothes and takes our attention out of the ibadat and the remembrance and the the dua that we are there to recite so thank you that was a good forman yes thank you جی سر ون مور کوشچن جی سر اگر ہمیں کوئی محرم کا نیاز سینڈ کرتا ہے تو کیا وہ ہمیں کھانا چاہیے یا نہیں واٹ از محرم کا نیاز سر آئی ڈونٹ نو جیسے ہمارے سراؤنڈنگ میں ایسا ہوتا ہے یو جسٹ آنسر یور کوشچن آئی ڈونٹ نو یو جسٹ واز یو آنسر اس کا مطلب آپ سمجھ گئے کہ آپ کو کوئی باجو والا کوئی پورک بھیجے گا تو میں کھا لوں گا نہیں وہ تو نہیں کھائیں گے بٹ ایسا ہوتا ہے کہ یہ نیاز ہے کیا کھانا چاہیے کہ نہیں آئی جسٹ آنسر یور کوشچن ڈو یو ایٹ ایوری تھنگ دیر از سینڈ ٹو یو اوکے دیر از یور آنسر آور ریلیجن سٹس آن لاجک اینڈ انٹلیکٹ وی میک رائٹ ڈیسیجن بیسٹ آن لاجک اینڈ انٹلیکٹ رائٹ If we don't eat everything which is sent to us, then you can simply say, if you are sending me as a friend some food, thank you, and you should eat. If you are sending me this food because you want me to become part of your beliefs, and I should eat this as the niyaz of Imam Hussain, but my Imam is living, 
and there cannot be niyaz for the imam you see logic and intellect it's okay to speak out truth or it's okay to be quiet and not say anything no one can force you to eat pork can they how many times you will go out if you are living in western countries and your friends your co-workers are offering you in even in our company we get lunch all the time they would have a pork what do you do you silently don't say anything don't eat just go back to your desk mind your own business right you see that logic and intellect g g g nargis sahib aap unmute kare मैंने ये पूछा था कि मैंने जब भी बच्चों को ये टॉपिक हमने उठाया था एच वगैरह में तो बच्चे कह रहे थे कि बहुत सारी तब्दीलियां एक इमाम के बाद दूसरा इमाम करता है तो हम उसको फॉलो करते हैं तो क्या हजमाम ने कोई तब्दीली नहीं की है ड्रेसेस के बारे में तो अब हम सोचता हूँ शाह वाला फरमान ही फॉलो करें मैंने बहुत सारे मिश्री से पूछ उनको तसली भी दी मगर वो नहीं माने मैंने आज तक नहीं पहने ब्लैक कपड़े जमात खाने में मगर देखें आप बात नोट करें कि जमात खाने में जब पार्ट की ड्यूटी अलॉट की जाती है कराची में तो दे से कि आप ब्लैक ड्रेस नहीं पहनेंगे ठीक है दुआ में भी जब बच्चों को टर्न मिलता है तो उनको मना कर देते इट मीन्स के दे ऑल्सो ओवे द फरमान ऑफ इमाम सुल्ता वर्षा ठीक है मैं सिर्फ अपनी नॉलेज के लिए जानना चाह रही हूँ अजीज साहब ने बहुत सारे फरमान पढ़े होंगे मैंने भी हजमाम के बहुत सारे पढ़े अभी पढ़ रही हूँ मगर क्या ऐसा हुआ है कि इमाम ने इस टॉपिक पे कुछ कभी कुछ बोला हो इंस्ट्रक्ट किया हो हमें इंस्ट्रक्शन दिया हो सिर्फ अपने नॉलेज के लिए पूछ पूछता रही हूँ जी सो लेट मी आंसर यू इन दे विल आंसर हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन नॉट वन क्वेश्चन एक सौ सवाल का एक जवाब में देना चाहता हूँ थैंक यू नरगिस आपा फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग आई अप्रिशिएट इट बहुत बहुत नवाजिश क्योंकि अगर आप एक्सप्लेन नहीं करते तो मेरे को सवाल समझ में नहीं आया था थैंक यू फॉर दैट अच्छा सो सवाल का एक जवाब वन आंसर टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन हाजरी माम हैव नेवर टॉक्ट अबाउट मिर्ची मसाला ही हैज नेवर टॉक्ट अबाउट टी ही हैज नेवर टॉक्ट अबाउट द सोन Hazri Imam Karan Jama have never ever not a single farman in 65 years of imamat on the sound are we giving the sound are we following sulta mama shah's farman on the sound hazri imam have never talked about thousands of subjects which sulta mama shah in his lifetime has covered not one not hundred thousands with one single farman hazri imam taught us this that i mola baba says i will follow on the footsteps on the path which my grandfather had laid for us me mere dada के तरीके पर और जो हिदायत उन्होंने बिछाई है हमारे लिए उसके ऊपर मैं चलूंगा अगर मोला बाबा बोलते हैं कि मैं मेरे दादा के फरमान पर चलूंगा तो हमको क्या करना चाहिए सी एक सवाल का एक सौ सवाल का एक जवाब जब आप नए स्कूल में बच्चों को सिखाते हैं तो आपके पास कहीं भी जाने की जरूरत नहीं है आपको यू डू नॉट नीड टू गो टू मिशनरी एंड तरीका बोर्ड यू शुड हैव द बेसिक फंडामेंटल लॉजिकल इंटेलेक्चुअल इल्म सो वी मे टीच अदर्स एंड दिस वन सिंगल फरमान कवर्स ऑल ऑफ दैट 
So remember this, next time someone asks, this is the reference you can use. G. Yeah, Thank you so much. G Farida. मुझे ये पूछना था कि जैसे हमारा 160 फरमान सुल्तान मोहम्मद शाह का उसूल दिन में है शरीयत तरीकत हकीकत और मार्फत के लिए कि ए अने ते बनने अलग अलग छे कि रोजा नमाज बंदगी ने चाहे छे ते खाली उम्मीद आजादी नहीं रखे छे बराबर है ये फरमान मोला का है तो उसमें मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि हमको ये दर्जा ईमान के जरिए मिलेंगे बराबर है हम शरीयत में है तरीकत में जाएंगे यानी तरीकत यानी इल्म लेना फरमान लेना लेकिन हकीकत की जब ही शनात होगी तो वो शनात हमको सिर्फ फरमान के जरिए होगी कि फरमान बंदे इबादत के जरिए होगी बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन एंड अगेन आई विल गिव यू आंसर व्हिच विल आंसर 100 ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन Maybe today is the day for this kind of ilm. Today is the day. Are we shariati, tariqati, or hakikati? We are hakikati. Because Hamad has a new There is your answer to your question. Huh? Imam has blessed us. Imam has blessed us with hakikat. If you are saying that we are in Shariat, then we will go in Tariqat. Then what we are saying, we are stuck in Shariat still. Abhi tak hum Shariat mein phase huye hain. Ab humko Tariqat mein jana hai. Tariqat se sikkar humko Akhiyat mein jana hai. Jabke aaj hi hum Akhiyat mein hain. Aaj hi hum Akhiyat mein hain. Ji. तो मौला फरमाते हैं कि तमे दर्जा ब दर्जा अगर बच्चों हकीकत ना अंदर दर्जा ना बताओ शरीयत तो मुकी दी दो क्या रे कितनो टाइम तय हो हकीकत तो बनी ली दो क्या रे लॉन्ग टाइम तय हो हकीकत ना अंदर पोता ना दर्जा ने बताओ ओके तो ये दर्जा मां खाली फरमान थी तो नहीं था ना इल्म थी तो नहीं था � ऊपर रखो इबादत ए इल्म एना अंदर आवे छे अजी फरमान नहीं मान से इबादत भी नहीं कर से इल्म भी नहीं ले से फरमान मान से तो कर से ना तो बड़ा तो तो मेरा हां तो मेरा क्वेश्चन ये भी है तो फिर हमको इल्म कितने घंटे लेना चाहिए कितने घंटे लेना चाहिए इल्म फरमान कितना पढ़ना चाहिए ओ आप इमाम में कला में इमाम में मुबीन में ही देख ले आप मौला ने बोला है दो से तीन घंटे इल्म और दो से तीन घंटे इबादत ये कलाम इमाम मुबीन के अंदर ही है फरमान है दो से तीन घंटा इल्म और दो से तीन घंटा इबादत तब जाकर हम हकीकत के अंदर अपना दर्जात को पढ़ाएंगे तो आपके मेरे पहले भी लेक्चर सुने थे तो आपने उसमें हमेशा बोला है कि जब भी टाइम मिले तभी जिक्र में बैठ जाओ लेकिन इल्म भी साथ में रखना है देखो इल्म के बिगर तो आप इबादत जितनी भी कर लें हिंदू लोग भी इबादत करते हैं आपने देखा होगा ना बराबर बराबर राइट इल्म के बिगर इबादत कुछ भी काम नहीं आने वाली है और इबादत के बिगर इल्म भी कुछ काम नहीं आने वाला है देखें वापस फरमान ऊपर रखा इबादत इल्म बराबर बराबर ओके ओके थैंक यू अजीज भाई और शुक्रिया आपका बहुत बहुत आप बहुत अच्छा समझाते इसके लिए मैं तड़प रही हूँ क्योंकि कभी संदेह आए तो हमको समझ में मोला का सब मोला का है अपना कुछ भी नहीं है शुक्र शुक्र थैंक यू याली मदर याली मदर सर एक सवाल एक सवाल नहीं है वो आपके जो फरमान आपने पेश किया ना उसके ऊपर का हिस्सा मेरे पास मैं देख नहीं सका मैं मिस्टी हमेशा उस वक्त मैं पेशेंट कौन सा वाला है विच वन ये जो फरमान है ना हाजरी माम का ये ब्लैक क्लोथ के ऊपर में जी एक सेकंड मैं दोबारा डिस्प्ले कर देता हूँ आप देख लें प्लीज उसको � हाजिर माम ने जो फरमान किया था 
कि वो अपने उनके बेटे के यहाँ बच्चा पैदा होने वाला है उसका वो फरमान आपने शेयर नहीं किया ओके फरमान वो तालिका था ना वो तालिका पता है ना आपको मिलता नहीं है बट यू कैन फाइंड इट इफ यू लाइक क्योंकि मैंने आपको तारीख दे दी ना देखिए ये तारीख है चांद रात अक्टूबर फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी से नीचे कॉपी कर सकता हूँ पूरा पीडीएफ ही भेज देता हूँ याली मदद एनी अदर कमेंट्स और क्वेश्चन एनी अदर कमेंट्स और क्वेश्चन सर वी डोंट हैव एनी कॉल देयर्स लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स इन द चैट uh but i think there's a one friend asking uh, if we don't take the niyas from the <coughs> excuse me from the ishnashiris is it going to be it will be like insulted so is it not a sin to throw away anaj or food okay so i think i did answer that let me elaborate okay maybe you did not understand what i said if you take if somebody gives you pork will you eat they will be insulting they are your coworker they bought a pork for you ham sandwich for you rib steak for you wouldn't that be insulting to them if you don't eat pork all right you i think you understand now now let me answer second question if you are taking the food as the offering of the food then who told you not to eat i didn't say that but if they are offering you as a niyaz and you ask or they tell you this is the niyaz you eat this as the niyaz of imam hussein then you need to be open truth by saying i'm sorry my imam is living and present we do not take niyas if you are offering me a food as a friend thank you i would love to eat this food and share it with you be honest logical intellectual take both example how come you don't mind insulting someone who is offering you a pork sandwich why but you are you think the your ishnashri friend will be insulted no they will not be if you tell them be honest with them tell them the truth and if they are your friend if they are your friend if they are not your friend who cares If they are friend, they will understand that your belief does not allow you to do it. And let me remind you again: it was Imam Hussein believe that he did not do bayat on the hand of Mavia. That was his belief that stopped him and got him killed. But still, he did not do bayat. because he was on the side of the truth are you supposed to follow your imam are you supposed to be in the side of the truth you supposed to be in the side of the truth so which side do you choose the side of the imam or side of being fitting in fitting in will get you in trouble ji Uh, so we a couple of questions for uh, friends asking uh, why in the uk we have black skirts for the smiley uh, uniform <laughs> good question as your jamaat ka naam ho kitha i can i answer those question because i did not i don't have authority to change your uniform right you have to ask your mukhi sahib your tariqa board your council 
this is not a valid question for this Garib and Nachis. I have no authority over your Tariqa board. G. G. That's another question, friends, asking. Uh, people say that this uh, Muharram is a holy month for dying. Is there any significance? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all. That's my answer. G. Next question. I uh, don't see any questions. Yali Madat. Yali Madat. Islam Islamic jo month hai sab kabi twenty nine nate kabi thirty. To ye jo month Rasool Sallam ne banaye Islamic jo month hai wo. ये सारे महीने एक लॉजिकल बेसिस पर बनाए हुए हैं क्योंकि हमारे पास इल्म नहीं है ना तो हमको पता नहीं है कि मोहरम का मतलब क्या होता है शाबान का मतलब क्या होता है रमजान का मतलब क्या होता है यू नो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इफ यू ट्रूली आर बिलीवर एंड ट्रूली वांट्स टू लर्न we need to read per imam farman the books of hudud e din books of our dais and our hujatan which will explain each month each month represents one of the rank of hudud e din each month so you are right this month are given to us by the prophets by the hujatan by the dayan and explained is not hidden is not just for me it is open books for everyone to read and you can find out what does each month represents g thank you so much सर मेरा एक सवाल है एक और सवाल इसी से याद आया जी कि हम हम ये जो 12 महीने काउंट करते हैं वो आ, ये इसको फॉलो करने के लिए जो हम जो ईस्वी कैलेंडर को फॉलो करने के लिए हम 12 महीने रखें या इसके पीछे कोई रीजन है कि ये 12 महीने की कोई वजह है क्योंकि 13 महीने भी हो सकते क्योंकि अगर देखा जाए तो 12 महीने उसके अगर ईस्वी सन के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो हर महीने का हर हर साल में 10 दिन का फर्क आता है 12 महीने जो है वो 12 हुदूद ए दीन को रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं 12 महीने 12 हुदूद ए दीन को रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं जिस तरह से मोहरम की खाली में एग्जांपल लेता हूं मोहरम रिप्रेजेंट मुस्तजीब फिर माजून फिर माजून मुत्तलक फिर दाई दाई ए मुतल्लक फिर हुज्जत हुज्जत ए आजम फिर इमाम फिर असास असास रमजान की मिसाल है फिर नफ्स कुल और अक्ल कुल ये 12 महीने 12 हुदूद ए दीन की एग्जांपल पर रखे गए हैं और इस्लामिक कैलेंडर जो है वो मून के हिसाब से चलता है जबकि ईस्वी कैलेंडर वो सन के हिसाब से चलता है यानी कि उसका दारोमदार सूरज पर है इसीलिए आप देखते हैं कि कभी हमारे पास 31 दिन होते हैं कभी 30 दिन होते हैं कभी 29 दिन होते हैं कभी 28 दिन होते हैं सो माय हंबल ओपिनियन एंड एडवाइस to whoever like to take but you don't have to take it's not compulsory we should focus on what is important not what is not important Moharam and this subject we have taken today was not my favorite subject was not important to me and this is not the subject i wanted to take but I have a duty towards the Jamaat. 
and when question are asked i have to answer them but this is not an important subject that we should waste too much of our time in g kyunki koi farq nahi padta ki ye mohram ka mahina hai ke ramzan ka mahina hai ke shaban ka mahina hai koi farq nahi padta hai hamare liye har mahina imam ke saaye ke andar blessed blessed ekdam acha mahina hai acha din hai hamare liye har din kyunki hamare sath imam hai हमारे क्या फर्क पड़ता है मेरे को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता ये मोहरा में रमजान है के शाबान है मेरा मोला मेरे साथ है तो वही दिन मेरे लिए अच्छा है वही महीना मेरे लिए ब्लेस महीना है जी सर इसी से रिलेटेड है कि मतलब ये आपने जैसे कहा कि ये बारह जो है वो हदूद दीन की बात करते हैं तो ये हदूद दीन भी क्या वो अट्ठाईस या तीस दिन पे मुनासर होते हैं या और तीस दिन जो है उसकी भी एक तावील है कि हर दिन एक इमाम का दिन है एक हदूद दीन का दिन है जो बराबर बराबर है क्योंकि इमाम जो है ना वो जो अपने लिए करता है वही आपके लिए पसंद करता है ऐसा नहीं है कि मेरे लिए अच्छा और तुम्हारे लिए कम ऐसा नहीं है तो जो इमाम का तीस दिन का एक दिन है जिस तरह से नातिक के तीस दिन का एक दिन है जिस तरह से नफ्स कुल अकल कुल के लिए है वही हम गरीबों के लिए भी है तो ये एक दिन रिप्रेजेंट करता है एक इमाम के दिन को जो उन्होंने सब हदूद दिन के लिए रखे हुए हैं एट द सेम टाइम एक महीने में जो तीस दिन है वो रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं तीस दाइयों को कि हर दिन के तीस दाई हो गए यानी कि आपके पास थर्टी अपॉर्चुनिटीज होगी इन अदर वर्ड्स यू विल हैव वन अपॉर्चुनिटी एवरी सिंगल डे टू शो योर दीन टू शो योर ईमान टू फुलफिल योर दीन टू फुलफिल योर ईमान फरमान देखा मतलब मैं ये इतना गहरा इल्म है कि सुबह से शाम हो जाएंगे हम डन नहीं हो गए हम सो दिस व्हाई आई वुल रिक्वेस्ट एंड आई वुल अर्ज वी हैव सो मेनी बुक्स ऑफ हदूद दीन सो मेनी फरामीन सो मेनी गिनान डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम ऑन नॉट असेंशनल रीड इल्म 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 सो योर मेस योर सोल May elevate, elevate, elevate. G. Last question, Kamal Sir. Ah, a little question. Ah, Islam. 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 Ah, maybe not <laughs> but there's a good question jalal bhai i love it good question <laughs> thank you so much i don't know because it starts with the moram and we ha- ourselves have blocked ourselves from celebration if you asking me as is why do you celebrate answer is yes na mere ko aisa ke hindu log karte na to oh hisab se mere ko yaad aaya ye अपने आम मुसलमान करते कि नहीं इसलिए पूछा मैंने ओके सर सो शुड वी मेक दिस अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन कमरे साहब अह जी सर आई थिंक वी डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन इन द चैट थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू कमरे साहब थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर एस्किंग ग्रेट क्वेश्चन थैंक यू लव यू ऑल यालीमदर यालीमदर सर थैंक यू एंड यालीमदर